Hey everyone, uh, it's Arden here. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to mirror the screen from your PS4 into your computer or into your uh, laptop, for example, in my case, in my laptop. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because right now I'm in uh, Ireland and I am sharing an uh, apartment with another couple, right? Uh, so we have to share the living room, for example, like the TV there and so on. Um, in this case, what I wanted to do is, uh, while they, if they use a TV, I can use my la laptop to play the PS4, you know, at the same time without having to wait for the TV and so on. Now, in this case, I researched it a little bit and I found out that uh, I can use this app called uh, PS4 Remote Play to mirror my um, PS4 screen onto my laptop. And I'm just gonna show you guys right now how to do this. You, first of all, you will need this PS4 Remote app, which you can download uh, for free. I'll show you right now. Okay, so here is the app. Uh, PS4 Remote Play, which you can download for a Windows PC or a Mac. In my case, I have Windows PC. Uh, I've already downloaded it, so I'll go through that as soon. Uh, first of all, the website is uh, remoteplay.dl.playstation.net slash remoteplay language uh, GB uh, Great Britain. Okay, now down here he has the instructions. So what you need for this is basically you need your PS4 controller, which I'm just gonna show you guys over here because I have them all here ready. So I have you my PS4 controller, right? Okay, let me put that down. I have you my PS4 um, cable to connect to my controller, which is USB, I think is type C. Can't even focus this camera on here. Okay, it's my iPhone camera, so it's not focusing very well. But it's the actual cable that comes with to charge your PS4, you know. And for first time, you will need an actual TV, just so you make the link, okay? Now, I'm gonna go back over here, and opa, I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do first. So, once you've installed it, now I'm gonna click on PS4 Remote Play. There we go, which I already installed here. Okay, now let's click on that, let's open it. I'm checking for update, okay. Now we just wait for it to load, since I have a slow computer. All right, so here, we've already installed it. Now, on this case, you wanna turn on your computer, um, your PS4 in this case, in this example, sorry, not your computer, turn on your TV. Okay, now we just wait for them to start, and then we have to go through the settings of the PS4. Okay, so my PS4 turned on, and since I have password protected, now let's turn that on, and you wanna to go to your settings. Ah, oh, here we go, settings. And then you wanna to go to, maybe I should zoom in a little bit. All right, let me zoom in, so you guys can see properly. Oh. Okay. Now you wanna go into your, uh, where was it? PlayStation app settings, or oh, no, sorry, remote play. Now you wanna click on enable remote play. All right, which I already enabled. And go back, and then you wanna go make this device, your PS4, PlayStation 4, as your main uh, PlayStation 4, okay? Uh, to do that, you had to go, I think, to... Uh, no, not this one. Account, there you go. Go to your account and activate as your primary PS4. I already did this in my case. The PS4 is activated as your primary PS4, okay. Now, after you've done that, I'll show you the next step right now. Oh, uh, okay, uh, just before I forget, uh, all, you also need to go to your power save settings. And what you need to do here is set features available in rest mode, okay. Now, you wanna turn these on. Enable turn on the of the PS4 from network, keep application suspended. That's up to you about the application, but you need this on. And supply power to USB ports. Stay connected, especially stay connected to the internet. You need this because uh, the PS4 remote play works by using the internet. So it's highly advised that you have a high speed internet before while you're playing on the uh, laptop. All right. Okay, so the next step guys is you wanna take your USB uh oh, I think I just press. Oh no, no, I pressed the. Uh, let's go. Let's take that back in. 
All right, so we're gonna take your USB, plug it into your computer, and then take the other end of it and plug that into your um, controller. So if I just try to put it in here with one hand. All right, awesome, there we go, this in. Um, if you guys need further instructions, the, the website here, it, it demonstrates everything how to do it, literally. It's very, very simple, so so here we go. For example, using remote play, turn on your PS4 system uh, or put it into rest mode. Connect the controller to your computer with a USB uh, or pair it to a truck for wireless controller. Okay, uh, launch PlayStation 4, PS4 remote play on your computer and then click start. Okay, now let's let's do this. Let's launch the PlayStation 4. Uh, P yes. PS4 remote play. Okay. Now this will require you to sign in. I already have signed in, but for you, you know, you can click on sign in. Click on sign in over here and it'll prompt you. In my case, it's just sign in automatically because I already filled in the details, okay? Uh, we'll go through the settings soon. All right, so use this PC to enjoy your PS4 even while you are away from it, yes. Now, sign with your secured in time, blah, blah, blah. You'll need to pair your PS4 and computer manually if you haven't activated your PS4 as a primary system. Some games do not support remote play, okay. When remote play is not available, refer to the following information if remote play is not available. Okay, so you, I'll leave this for you guys to uh, read out. There are spe uh, specific specifications for your computer that will require in order for you to actually run the PS4 remote play and so you don't have any lags or anything like that. Um, now in my case, I'm gonna click on, uh, press the options on the button on the controller. So I'm gonna press here, I'm gonna press start on my controller right now, the PlayStation PS button. All right, that should turn on right now, yeah. All right, now let's click on start. Searching for PS4, connecting to PS4. Oh wow, there we go. Now I've only tried this once, and it's my second time trying this while I'm making the video. So, it's kind of hard having to record it myself and use it with one hand, but it's all right. Now, okay guys, so you're gonna see for yourself now, right? There's a TV behind in front, and my computer right in front of me, and my controller right here, yeah? Now bear in mind you have to keep your uh, controller connected via USB, okay? Don't take it out. Now, look, I'm moving up, up, and you can see on the, okay? Now, I'm gonna go back. I'm, I'm actually gonna play a game. Let's go back, back, and I'm gonna go on Call of Duty here. Okay. This will be fun. Now, I'm just gonna move my laptop a little bit back. Okay, it's starting. So you guys can all can see this now. And I'm gonna try and put my phone here by the sofa. Hopefully it will work. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. Can you? I don't think so. Mm, maybe not a good idea. Tell you what, I'll use this remote. There we go. This is much better, right? Okay. So my remote. Let's press X and that's multiplayer. All right. So we got what new contracts. I'm gonna click on find match right now, domination. Let's go with domination. Now, all right, so I'm gonna show you another thing, yeah? Now, you can make this bigger, or make it full screen. Okay, now these buttons here at the bottom, they'll disappear soon. There you go, they've gone. The reason why my laptop is a little bit darker is because I made the settings a bit dark on there, so if I just increase the upper now, so there, that's better. Now we just wait for the game to actually start. Okay. All 
All right, so it started. So right now, I'm gonna be looking at my uh, computer screen instead of the TV, and you can, you can see the difference. So if you guys watch, oh my God. Actually, the difference on my computer right now for me is a little bit of a graphics are, are not very good. And it does, I gotta say, it does lag. Oh, wow. Oh my God. That's why I said you need a really high connection internet speed. Oh, I can't believe I killed him though. Ah, wow. Yeah, I gotta say, guys, it does lag. You need a high speed computer for this uh, with higher graphics and uh, you, especially your internet. If I look at the TV screen right now, it actually goes very smooth. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there right now and let's see, just exit this. So I'll click on escape to, okay, no, I can't. I think this button here to exit the full screen. Oh, we says we'll have a little faster for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna go and exit full screen. Now you can turn here your mic. It says muted, but what this means is you can use, you can use your computer mic, okay? Do you guys see here? I have you on an icon. You, let me just zoom in a little bit more. That's my, it's using my computer mic right now. And you can mute it again. Instead of having to put the actual mic into to the controller, you can use your PS4 mic. Uh, sorry, not PS4 mic, uh, your computer mic. And uh, now you have your options. You can click on options, or you can click the um, from the button here, the share button, or what is this? Options button. See? And if I click it here as well, it remove or report. Whatever. Now, if I click the button here, it does the same thing, right? Oh, you didn't see? No, you didn't see. Let me show you guys. So there you go. There's a button there. Same thing. And if I click over here. Options button. Oh my god, it was, it was, why is it not working? Okay, I think I have to do it with the mouse. Okay, yeah, you have to do it with the mouse. Sorry, guys. My, my computer is touch screen, that's why I was doing it touch screen. <laughs> no, yeah, you have to click with the mouse here. See? I click back. And the same goes with the sharing button. See, and if I use the share button here on the controller, see. All right, now the next thing, guys, is I want to show you the settings in here. Okay, because oh my god, I was gonna sneeze. Wow, it's gone. Okay, I was gonna say I was, I was gonna sneeze. Ooh, somebody killed me. Uh, now to, oh yeah, don't forget the PlayStation button. Now to go to the settings of this, I think you have to exit first. All right, so let's start this again. Press the PlayStation button. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, no, I just shouldn't have done that. A little bit of a mistake here. So let's just go back, guys. Now, I just want to show you another example. I just removed my USB cable. Which I have right here. I just removed my PlayStation 4 controller, and you notice that I can't move. Now, if I turn it on, yes, it's signed in again. So I'm just gonna sign in. Now, my PlayStation 4 is gone blank, and it says con uh, connection lost. You see. That's why you need the cable to use it. Now, through the settings, okay, so resolution, you can have like, depending on how good your computer is or how strong. 
in my case um, it's well it's medium average should I say now it's going to 1080p so it's available for CPU for other PS4s the resolution will be 720 okay because I have PS4 Pro right now, and that's probably why mine accepts it. Now, let's see what this does. Oh. Searching the internet. But I think you still need the um, P uh, USB cable for this. I'm, surp I'm surprised. No oh. You, see, you notice that my PS4. Uh, it Control is on, yeah. Now I can use the one on the TV screen, but I can't use it on the laptop if it's uh, connected via USB. And sometimes it turns off itself, you noticed? It's off. Ah, there we go. Now let's turn on my PlayStation control. Oh my god, somebody killed me. Now let's see what happens here. You see, you actually need a cable. Without the cable, you can't do nothing about it. Uh, let's plug it in. Okay. Let's start again. And to finish through the rest of the settings, guys, um, information here. Now it doesn't have much, you just have the license agreements, okay? Uh, so I'm going to change my best again and click on OK. Press the PlayStation controller here. It's on. And then start. There we have it. So I'm just going to click X. Yeah. You notice that? Let's click on back or maybe not. Okay. There we go, guys. So that's how you uh, connect your PS4 screen onto your uh, laptop. Uh, bear in mind, in the first time, you will need your USB cable and the TV, and afterwards, uh, you can turn off the, t the TV, for example, right now. I'm going to turn it off. Okay, you won't need your TV anymore. You can always do this. Just turn on your PS4 and turn on your uh, PS4 remote play here. And you don't even need, you, you don't even need the uh, HDMI cable anymore or the TV. All you will need now is like your PS4 controller, your co uh, laptop, uh, your USB cable here, the USB-C cable, and obviously the internet connection. That's all you need. Oh yeah, don't forget to have a power cable for your laptop. <laughs> Make sure it's plugged in all the time, okay? So that's all. Uh, sorry it took so long about this video. I want to make it a bit shorter, but uh, it's a bit hard doing it with one hand. All right, so if you guys have any more uh, questions about this, uh, just leave it down in the comments below. And if you like this video, just leave a thumbs up. And if you have anything to say, just leave it down in the comments below. Um, okay, so that's all. Take care, everyone. Uh, have a good day or a good night.